Okay, question 12. Again, if you're wondering how to get to these questions, um, watch uh, the video where we go over sample questions two and three, and we go over how to get to these questions. Um, so, question 12. Which code fragments codes the equivalent circuit if you remove the barrier in the following quantum circuit? <clears throat> okay, so let's take a, a look at what's already written. Uh, notice they may try to trip you up by using equivalents. Uh, study the operator glossary for this. So we're going to look at the main idea behind this and then we're going to look to the operator glossary. So we see Hadamard, a T-gate, a barrier, another T-gate, a Hadamard, and then a measure operation. They give us uh, four options. We're looking for one of them that does the same thing. So again, the same idea that we see over other problems. Um, different routes to get to the same solution. So we're going to follow up on this. We're going to go to the operator glass right now. So I'm going to switch screens. In order to get here, you should Google Kiskit Operations Glossary. And then it's going to be, for, for me, it's the first one. So I would really learn the ins and outs of this uh, Operations Glossary. Um, this is what we're capable of doing. Um, so just to see some stuff that is um, more relevant for it. I would go through and I would identify what each of these are. There are families, try to figure out what families there are, um, figure out what's important, um, and then in each of them, figure out their values. So phase, you know, T, what we're looking at right here, is uh, an RZ gate. So it's, it's like, you know, the, the RZ gate is like the parent to the phase, the, the T gate. So, um, it rotates it for a value of pi over 4. So these values are going to be important. So t, pi over 4, s is pi over 2, and you're going to want to learn the values of the different ones. So again, Google um, Kiskit Operations Glossary and really go through this. So we're going to go down here. We can, it's actually clickable. So t, um, be careful not to confuse it with t dagger. They're, they're um, different. So t gate is an equivalent uh, to RZ for angle of pi over 4. So we're going to go back to the paper here. And we're going to see what kind of tricks they try to do. Um, so, okay, yeah, yeah. So we saw T is pi over 4, and then S is pi over 2. So let's see how this uh, factors into this problem. So again, notice they may try to trip you up by using equivalence. Um, so if we do the math real quick, um, we did this before, but pi over 4 plus pi over 4, which is uh, what we're seeing here. It's, it's this pi over 4 plus pi over 4. And that equals 2 pi over 4, which simplifies to pi over 2. So pi over 2 is uh, the, the value for S gate. So what I'm guessing happens, uh, what I actually think happens in this, in this circuit, is these end up canceling out, or simplifying, rather, to uh, uh, an S gate. So let's see how this factors in. So we look at this. D is, so these, these first lines um, seem to be safe. And that's, that seems to be some, a pattern in the exam. So safe, you know, set up safe. I should do this. Safe. Safe, safe, safe. It's just established in the circuit. They're all the same, right? We're setting QC equals quantum circuit 1 dash 1. So we're setting up a quantum circuit with one qubit and one classical bit. And we do that with all four of the answers. So that's safe among all of them. That's something um, you might want to learn or want to practice doing. Go through them, see which, one, which parts are safe so you can kind of not think about those. You, you, you can allocate memory or uh, focus to important parts. So now for all of them, I know I don't have to look at the first line. So now going down, I can only look at the second line going forward. So D, now that I know it's safe, uh, we, we place a Hadamard. Oh, so we're looking for the equivalent. A Hadamard, a Z, a Hadamard, and then a measure. So that would look like this. Hadamard, uh, Z, Z actually. I think Z might be uh, funky, but we'll leave it there. Uh, H, and then measure. So that's what that would look like. H, T, T dagger, and H. Um, 
these questions are like um, bits and bobs of different questions put together. So right here we notice that two t's simplifies to an s. So we have this idea of, of gates simplifying to other things. In C, we have the same idea. T and T dagger simplify and they actually cancel out. So they have running themes throughout these questions and the themes stay the same throughout um, the answers. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was a version of this question where um, they wanted the equivalent to be this one. Like, you know, this one canceled and they want an equivalent that also canceled. So this could be another situation, but that's not the one we're working with. We're working with two T's. So quantum circuit, Hadamard, T, T dagger, which would cancel, and then a Hadamard and measure. So this would end up being, it would simplify out to a, a Hadamard and then a Hadamard because they would cancel. Oh, that's a horrible looking Hadamard. And then measure. So that's not what we're looking for. B, B, um, okay, so B and C are the same. So that might be um, the combination for a different set of, of problem questions, right? So it's like, if they give you B, C would cancel. Oh, actually, yeah, the hard marks would cancel too. So this one would just be measure. So as silly as B looks, B and C are, are um, you know, C is the key to B's lock and vice versa, right? If, if you got B as a question, C would be your answer. Or if you got C as a question, B would be your answer because they simplify. So as silly as it looks, there's, there's like a reason this is here, and it's because this is actually makes sense for this answer. So let's go up to, uh, let's see here. So the rationale behind D being wrong is um, Z is not equal to two T's. So yeah, we saw that. It's like, it's unrelated to what we want. The reason C is wrong is T and T dagger cancel, not what we want. <laughs> Sorry, this, these are like my personal notes. So like, like yeah. <laughs> empty register and that's like when I, when I was first going through this like I didn't realize how there's, there's more to these questions than meets the eye because like uh, as an answer but then you know as you learn more it's like oh these questions aren't as surface level as I thought at first so I was like yeah I was like I, you know what the fuck, there's just an empty register but it, 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 it goes deeper than that so then for a we have a Hadamard an S gate a Hadamard and then a measure and we saw that two T's simplify to one S and that is why a is correct so uh, problem 12, um, look for different ways to get to the same route. Um, familiarize yourself with the operations glossary uh, and the values each of them has. Um, and um, try um, writing them out to see what they, they, they um, like the results are. And then, of course, figure out what you can not think of. You know, this is safe, so I don't have to think of it. This is safe, so, so the initialization part is always safe. So you, could, you can dedicate your focus to the other options. Um, that's it for 12.